Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your November 2017 monthly reading. This is a general reading, so whatever comes up will come up. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Bits and pieces may resonate and then the other parts may not. This is for the sign of Scorpio for the month of November. I already pre-shuffled these decks, so when I'm told to stop, I'm going to stop. I'm just going to make sure that this is zoomed in good. Ooh, it looks pretty darn good, don't it? Wow. Basis of your reading is the star. Okay, so that is the basis of your month. This is wish fulfillment. Look, with this card being the basis, it looks really, really good. We have security and stability and abundance right next to it. We have that you are very focused this month. It's like you are you're moving forward. You're not having any um, delays, okay, you're moving, okay, it's not like you're sitting on the couch not doing something, I think that many of you are are moving, you're, you're making something happen, happen in regards to your dreams and your wishes being fulfilled, you're acting on it, okay, um, and I think that your security, stability, and abundance is is all right there because of what you have done. I think that you guys are leaving behind something that no longer served you, okay? Or no longer serves you. It never did or it's not serving you, you know? You're just leaving it behind and moving on. I see that um, you've kind of had like some kind of breakthrough or awakening or epiphany that you that has changed things for you and it's really changed your finances in a very big way for many of you. Uh, you could be uh, finally making more money or ha actually having more in your wallet, okay? It just feels very secure, stable, and abundant this month financially. You've you've earned it, put it that way. Um, I do see that you need to let go of some kind of responsibility or some kind of burden. There's still something heavy, heavy weighing you down, okay? There's some heaviness about you that needs to be, be gone. Um, but it takes strength and willpower to let it go, okay? And you have to accept the truth that it's time to let it go. So that's part of it. Perhaps you, um, you know, you've been ignoring the truth and you've been ignoring the fact that you have to let something go. But the fact of the matter is that you must because it's too heavy to carry around. You really don't need it anymore, whatever it is. You're definitely, definitely walking away from something if you haven't done it already. Um, that no longer served you. It could be a job, okay, because I see a lot of um, abundance and security here around money. So you could be looking for something new um, or any strife in your workplace that could be over with, okay. Um, I do, right at the, right at the um, top right here, we have the Ace of Cups. This is a love, okay? This is a very strong love. So I think that for many of you, um, you're feeling secure and stable, but you're also feeling love, all right? So congratulations, it looks really good. I think, I mean, you have wish fulfillment as the basis of your reading. This is absolutely beautiful. It looks like you're stable and secure financially, and there's love as well. So there's, there's like a balance between the both. Um, congratulations. If you are single, you are probably very grateful for all that you have, okay? 
and um, there could be somebody new or that you're interested in or they're interested in you and it could be a fire sign Leo Aries or Sagittarius we do have Leo here twice we also have Libra Gemini Aquarius but that Libra Gemini Aquarius could be somebody that is either making you very happy or you're leaving them or you're leaving some aspect of them behind okay it's something you need to release um, we have uh, we do have some power struggles here okay we have some power struggles regarding money or um, materialistic things so you may be you know getting um, some grief from somebody regarding where you spend your money how do you spend your money how do you save your money you know it just it looks like there's some conflicts regarding materialistic things because somebody might be wanting to um, know how you're spending your money okay put it that way um, and I think that we have some we have something that is crumbling which you know kind of can be scary but it's a blessing in disguise because we do have the tower here so it looks like something is being let go that needed to crumble you know and that is connected to this Libra Gemini Aquarius and the ten of wands so you could be letting go of somebody who was spiteful um, vindictive um, brash um, and it, this can be any sign. I'm just I'm naming off some energies. Somebody who is could be very um, nosy, okay, sneaky. I'm just saying. Not that all these signs are always this, but this is what I feel. I feel like you know they, that you need to be careful because it almost feels like somebody is um, jealous of you, and I just think you should just walk away release the drama okay it feels like some there's some jealousy there they're jealous of your security and your abundance and your newfound love okay um this seven of cups tells me to be careful tells me to tell you to think twice about something be careful with your choices because this right here this tower says that something must break something has to break apart a break is coming beware beware something is going to come crashing down and it, it could um, come crashing down hastily and this card is here to let you know not to act impulsively okay make sure you think twice whenever that what this is falls down now this is the month of November I'm recording this in October it could be happening now as you're watching this it could happen any time in November or even after November because time is fluid whenever this thing crashes you know and breaks down um, it leads to something better. It leads to wish fulfillment because wish fulfillment is the basis of your reading. Okay? Something is happening in your favor and it could definitely lead to a commitment. Okay? Um, <coughs> a strong commitment. Um, but be careful because you may have more than one choice. Okay? So make sure you think very carefully because what you own owns you. Okay? <laughs> you could have a choice between Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And this can be a partner and a child. It can be a partner and another potential partner. It can be a partner and a parent. You know, I think, see that you're, you're going to have to um, think twice about a decision regarding probably two people. And it just seems like somebody is trying to mess things up for you. Seriously, I mean, that's what I see. But you have the ability to just brush it off and walk away from it. You do. You have the strength. You, you do. You have the strength to just walk away. This is for Scorpio. You have a lot of fire energy here, okay? A lot of fire energy, which is Leo, um, Aries, and Sagittarius. Just saying, there is, is a, there's, that's the, mostly, okay? Wow, look at it all. Holy camole, camole. Anyway, um, 
<sighs> it's time to make something final, all right? It's absolutely time to make something final. When the Justice card comes out, it's time to release a weight that you have been carrying around, okay? And with the, this is really connected to the ten of, 10 of Wands up here. It really is, and this is a heavy weight as well. Many of you are carrying around this heavy weight and not releasing it, and I think that you need to release it as quickly as possible, okay? I do see that we have uh, things turning in your favor very soon, very quickly, but you need to release something that you've been holding on to, okay? Um, it looks like you need to act on your hunches. You need to take a risk, all right? Many of you are being told or being asked to take a risk, okay? Because that's this page of wands here. So this, this page acts on their hunches. It's where they have this new excitement and they have the confidence to move forward not knowing what the outcome is going to be okay i think that it's it's a very positive energy and it's very passionate you have a lot of passion here a lot of passion to be shared okay so whoever's trying to hold you down or whoever's weighing you down it's just like drama and you just need to walk away from it Okay, I see that you guys need to walk away from some drama. And it might take confidence to do that because, and, and courage, because it feels like you don't want to hurt somebody, you know? You don't want to cause them hurt. And that's where the delays have been. Um, anyway, it's time to do the right thing for you. When the Justice card comes out, it says, do the right thing for you, okay? It, just be honest. Be honest with yourself. Okay, um, it, it's time to make the choice, okay? When justice comes out, it's about making a choice, all right? And I think the choice has to do with walking away from somebody or something or, or walking away from drama because I see that there's some drama here, okay? Um, and heaviness, it, this drama is causing a you to... Um, like there's a big burden on your back, a big burden that you can't release, which it's time. It's really his time. Okay, I think the good luck is turning in your favor. I mean, look at all the security. Look at all the abundance. Look at all the passion you have inside of you. Okay. Um, I'm going to start shuffling the next deck. That one fell out. Oh, there we go. We got another one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So you have a lot of eights here. A lot. Change. Change, change, change. Okay. It's definitely time for a change. And this change has to do with letting go of something that is weighing you down. With this Ten of Wands and the Justice, something is seriously weighing you down. Okay, this is the Eight of Swords is being trapped in a situation when you don't need to be. Okay, <clears throat> we do have love here. I knew we did. <clears throat> okay, this is a this is a deep connection between you and another person. It's like an obsession. Okay, this is an obsession. This is a deep connection between you and another person. And right now, you can't move forward because you're trapped in a situation that you need to let go of. Okay, you're trapped in a situation that you need to let go of. You're not feeling the love. Okay, you're not feeling the love. You're not accepting the love. You're not offering the love. You're not feeling the love. Okay? There, there is, like I said, you need to leave a situation where you're not feeling the love, okay? And that's where the change comes into play, okay? We do have a Leo right here. We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius all over in this reading. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? And there's an obsession here of some sort. And there is a deep connection. So many of you have a deep loving f connection to somebody, okay, that you are kind of like resisting. You're resisting it. Perhaps right now you are in a period of 
pretending, resisting. Um, your limit, you have limitations, okay? You feel like you can't move forward. You feel like you can't make a move. Um, I feel like, you know, you're stuck. You're stuck in a spot where you can't make a move and you might be feeling like you're a victim and you can't move because you don't want to hurt somebody. Like I said earlier, before these cards even came out, I said, it's like you can't, because you, you can't release this thing that's really heavy on your heart because you don't want to hurt somebody. Okay? I feel like you've been resisting it, this hangman, because um, you don't want to, you don't want to go through the struggles. You don't want to struggle through it. You're not ready to struggle through it. It's like, it's like, you're not ready to just let go. That's when the hangman comes out. But it is absolutely time to do the right thing for you. When the justice card comes out, it's time to do the right thing. Okay? That's what it means. And you need to do it sooner than later. All right? The Eight of Wands is a quick-moving energy. It does lead to wish fulfillment. But it's in your hands. Okay? It's in your hands. You have to do it. There is healing. And I see that... You know, the bill, your ability to heal is great during this month of November. Wish fulfillment is here. It's like this love that you have, this, this connection that you have will probably come to fruition. Because you do have this wish fulfillment with this star card. Okay, it's like a time of renewal for you in the month of November. We, this is also the sign of Aquarius, by the way. Um, it almost seems like you've been preparing for this. You have, but you've been ignoring it. Because we have the preparation here, but we have the ignoring it here. It's like you knew this was coming, but you couldn't do it. Okay? So you've been preparing for it mentally. Okay? But you haven't freed yourself yet. Because you have to free yourself here. Which you can. Okay? So I think this month is about heading towards your dreams and wishes and I think that you're very very close to a finding your forever or partner you know there's a deep soul connection between you and another could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, could be an Aquarius could be a Leo Aries Sagittarius but I, it could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius could be any because we have them all Except for we don't have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We do not have that. But anyhow, I see that you are carrying something around that is heavy. And you aren't letting it go because you don't want to let somebody down. Okay? But you, this heavy weight has to go. Because you're not doing the right thing for you. By carrying it around. It's like you have, you just are resisting the change. You're resisting the change because it's going to hurt somebody or it's going to hurt you. But I do see that there's a commitment. You're committed to somebody. I do see a commitment. You're committed to somebody in your heart. Change is on the horizon with all these eights. Eights are about change. Okay? They're about much more, too. I think um, they're also about power. Materialistic. It's a very materialistic number as well. You also have a lot of fours. Fours are about foundations. They are about angels. The angels are around you. Um, it's also pay attention to the signs, invisible forces, and it also says all is well, keep going, keep going, all right? Time to go, unbelievable, 
This is for Scorpio. This just reiterates what I was saying. It's time. I know that you're worried about hurting somebody, but it's time to make the final decision. That's what the the right one for you. Stop resisting this change. You need you must struggle through it. That's all there is to it. Okay? There is a great love and a commitment to be had that leads to your wishes being fulfilled, but but the first step is for you to let go of this heavy weight that you're carrying around. And this heavy weight involves a change. Time to go. The sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty with each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. Now this is an angel guidance card. I believe I just told you about angels with the fours. Ask your angels to help you with this letting go of whoever, whatever it is. The sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. This is for Scorpio for the month of November. You have to let something go. Truly. Cut the cord. And your wish fulfillment will come. Talk to you later.